He was like, yeah, yeah. But when I see him in the park, he's like, yo, yeah. So I want to know. I'm like, what? You gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. Exactly. What's the topics for today? Yes, please. What's going on? It's your boy G from NYC, the G Talk Podcast. Woo! Episode <laughs> 15. And I'm here with my co-host, of course, Trish. Hey, y'all. What hey, up, Trish? What up? Glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. We That's actually good. have a it's guest. Good. Okay. Shandy. Shandy Love. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> Talk my shit. Okay. Excited. How you feel, Shandy? How you feeling? I'm feeling absolutely amazing. Mm. I'm at peace. We love that. Vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Okay. <laughs> Shandy <laughs> listened in on the last episode and, you know, we kind was of getting did. back to our little mm. friendship. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like I'm in the hot seat. In the hot seat because nah, not in the hot seat. last week I was on the other side, and this week I'm like I'm, I'm seeing the other. Right. She's not in the hot seat. She, she claims she was in the hot seat that I, time, I but she was like, watching. It was just like, follow up questions. Yeah. That's all. yeah. All right. Relax. All right. Calm down. <laughs> I got you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but now nah, I, I just had quick story time. So when I was coming from work today, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I normally drive here when I have like sessions and the first time I like in a while I was taking the train. So I was walking here from Canal Street that the whole block of Canal Street is just nothing but like, yo, know, fake Louis, fake Gucci's. And oh, it's like yes. people really out here selling and people be buying it though too. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> I literally was talking to my homegirl, Pondasia, about it. Literally was talking about it. I said, I literally was on Canal Street, the whole strip. Everybody's buying a Louis bag, a Goyard bag. Yo. They going crazy. But the thing is, it's like they also getting it from DH Gate too. Mm. DH Gate mm. have some some dupes, and people are not caring. People are not checking no more. Nah, it was, a, it was a guy that looked at the bags though. He was about to buy, it and he was like, "Yo, why are you doing me like this?" Man? The guy's like, <laughs> "No, no, like they, they real." He's like, "Nah, man, this is not real." I was weak, like I was just walking past. Said, it was just why funny. Are you doing me like this? Yeah, yeah he said that. I was just, I just walked by casually trying to get on my way to the studio, and I saw he was about to buy, it, and he was like, "Nah, nah," like he 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 caught himself. He mm. was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna get caught up." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-mm. But it was funny. Um, I want to get into some stuff. Uh-huh. You know, today's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God. Mm. Amen. And, you know, Friday means new music. So, um, J. Cole, right? He had dropped two new singles today. No, matter of fact, wait. I'm going to go with J. Cole last. So, everybody thought uh, Drake's new album was supposed to come out today. Uh, for all the dogs. I don't know why everybody thought that was, was going to come out. I ain't going to hold you. I kept on refreshing my Apple music. <laughs> yeah. I I'm must have been a lie because I really wanted to see what we was talking about. And I saw some pieces on TikTok, people dropping little hints, but mm-hmm. I, I just like exited mm-hmm. out of it. Yo, I, I was refreshing. It was like, it went on midnight and I'm like, let me go. Let me type it in. Nothing came up, but I should have known. Like he never officially announced it. That's so what I'm like, saying. I never saw like an update or nothing like that. The, yeah. the cover stood out though. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Let me Roman. tell you something about that cover. <laughs> <laughs> that boy has seen some things. Kids don't be lying. Mm. Kids don't be lying, okay? <laughs> that boy done seen some things, and he just using his imagination, yeah. okay? That or there's a parent-teacher conference that needs to happen, or there needs to be a meeting. <laughs> what, what's wrong to, with it? Like, hey, you don't like it? Adonis is great and all, but hey, we just got to address that right there. You know? <laughs> just going to address that photo right there. Because a dog... I'm gonna go with mm-hmm. dog, mm-hmm. right? I'm gonna go with dog with red eyes. I googled it. I don't think I see any dogs with red eyes. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't. It's different. Crying. Yeah, that's all. Are that's we? all I'm gonna say on that. But that was it. Was a little disturbing. It's like ah, oh, threw me off. Huh. like his last couple was like dope, and then before that one was even better. Which one was one with um, with the woman? That was before that one. Before yeah, but oh, you talking about you talking about his last album? Yeah, there you go. Her mm. loss. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that one was tough though. That I like that one better. I like but, that one, and yeah. it's like all black, all this this dog. My boy Mike think it's trash <laughs> though. Yeah, it's the first time I've heard this song, but it's just Drake to me doesn't have good um, album cover. I don't know if they can hear you. Mm, Shout okay. out to my boy Mike okay. in the building too. Okay. Shout out to Mike. Shout Coach out to Mike. Mm. I don't know. I think it's just creative expression. Like it's just his son doing the artwork. It's 
Like, I'm not not a lot of artists can do that though. Have their kid do the artwork like Drake. I mean, Drake is the guy though, so it don't really matter. But I don't, I respect it as long as the music That's is cool. good. I just know somebody. I'm, yeah, somebody said um, and his mother an artist. She should have done the album, something like that. <laughs> I, was I did see that. Like, I didn't, I didn't know she was an artist either. Like, she, yeah. She's that. okay this. <laughs> Nah. I didn't know that either. Mm-mm. Yeah, she's an artist. Yeah. That's a crazy thing. Mm-mm-mm. It's crazy too, because I was looking on um the gram yesterday and Fat Joe was saying he was on Rap Radar podcast and he was basically saying how uh all the way up, you know that song All the Way Up. Mm-hmm. All the way up now. Nah. So <laughs> he said that Drake begged him like three times to be on the um the song and he, you know, he begged him like three times and yeah. then he said that you know, like man, he said uh a few people wanted to be on it, like 50 wanted to be on it, but he's like, you know, since him and Jay had that in the wars, like they, they used to beef back in the day. So oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was only right that I had Jay on it. And it's like, I'm thinking now, it's like, you could have really had a whole he, bunch of remixes and profited off of that crazy. He like, did the different versions, honestly. Yeah, I was crazy. thinking, I'm like, damn, just Jay, you have Drake, you have. Drake on the remix would have been. Yeah. He, I ain't gonna hold you. That's what I'm saying. I just feel like Jay Z shouldn't be on, on a lot of features. It's, it depends. Like, like I said, I like him in like yeah. with Pusha T. Like I don't know, like some of his songs with him and Pusha T, they just yeah, flow. Right. They yeah. just go they like hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah, they can relate to each other as far. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, yo, I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, you didn't have Drake. Yeah, Drake not gonna hop on any more songs of Fat Joe. It's over. I wonder <laughs> so, why. I wonder why he didn't let him it's slow. On. It's slow. He, he preferred Jay for the, like that New York. I, I'm, uh, if I'm Fat Joe, I'm probably thinking more New York. Okay. As far as just like like New York, like. Mm-hmm. But he could have had 50 for that too, but it is what it is. I just thought it was <sighs> business. Like it's business. Oh, yeah. Business he let them so. It's business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with both of you. I'm Switzerland, but this is a fire track. <laughs> this is a fire track, bro. And I'm going to get the bag regardless. Come right. on now. That's right. Is my career on the line with this too? Yeah. Um, It was a. Uh, um, so J. Cole, right? He had dropped two singles one with Burner Boy and one with Gucci Mane, right? The one with Gucci Mane was produced by Mike Will Made It. And this one, Burning Boy, I'm not sure who produced it, but both of the songs, I listened to it today, because it came out today. Um, what you think, Trish? <laughs> <laughs> My honest opinion, bro. I the, have you. The, all right, the Gucci Man song, the only reason I was starting to bop with it is because I was listening to the wordplay of J. Cole and the, the beat off off rip just caught my attention. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that was that was it for that. Clearly, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Now, Burner Boys. <clears throat> I'm not okay with it. <laughs> I'm just not okay with that track because I played it twice mm-hmm. on my speakers and I'm trying to get the wordplay and listen to what he's saying and right. stuff like that. And it sounded like it was like a lot of grunting. I don't know. It's just me. It was just me or, but like I said, like even when J. Cole was on it, Mm-hmm. He made it decent, mm-hmm. decent right. to listen to. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel like J. Cole added it without them, like without J. Cole on those tracks, it, it was not going to hit. Okay. I don't think it's still going to hit, but hey, it's gonna, songs grow. Right. Songs grow on you. You never know. I might yeah. mm-hmm. Shane, you start bumping the song. Know. You heard it? I heard it and I did not like it. <laughs> you heard both of them? I heard both of okay. them. And it was like, I usually, I usually like, I'm like, J. Cole has acquired like select few that I would love, like fuck with. I will listen to all day. And then mm-hmm. there's some songs I just I don't get. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know? Yeah. And then same yeah. with Burner Boy. Like that one, I was like, yeah. It's not it. Not it. Not it. Nah. <laughs> I I listened to both of them and that it's not like I was just like, I don't want to say it was whack, but it just wasn't for me. That's it's the one I, I know. It's, it's not, not for me. It's yeah. not for me. Not and, for and that's okay. It's not yeah. for everybody. I heard huh? it and I'm just like, because I know J. Cole's doing this. Thing. I love it, by the way, that he's hopping on people, like producers, like beats and stuff like that. Because mm-hmm. before he was just doing his own thing with the beats. I love that he's collaborating with other producers, artists, artists and yeah. stuff like that. So that's kind of cool to see. But I don't know, like this time around, like, because normally I'll be excited for a J. Cole feature, like the one with Bia. Um, mm-hmm. that one was really fire. That was that song. But it's like this time around, I wasn't really feeling it like that. I don't know. I could be be bugging, but you know, I'm a big J. Cole fan too. So it's like, nah, it's a no for me, dog. Randy Jackson voice. Mm. <laughs> you can try again. You can try again. You can try again. You know, yeah. it's, not, it's not for everybody. Huh? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Anyways. What you want to talk about, Trish? Empty. Man, can we talk about gym life? Gym life. Oh. Okay. Can we talk about gym life, guys? How yeah. it's great for me. You're the health? only one that's in the gym 24-7 right now. So how about you start? Yeah. 24 7 every day. I'm you went to the gym today, right? I was right? going to. Oh wow. But the weather didn't I didn't the weather was like staying what? bad. You be the first, yo. Monday that's, through Thursday. I'm not gonna lie, same okay. way. That's a first. That's the weather's like that. I wanna stay inside. I'm too. staying in the bed. I don't care. Absolutely. That's I, a first. I feel like gym life is has been a part of my life more like everyday living. Mm-hmm. And I look forward to working out now. And it helps me because you know, I don't take medication for my ADHD. So okay. I I'm just Raw dog in life. <laughs> I'm raw dog in life. With, raw like, dog is crazy. Raw dog is crazy. I know, but that's crazy. how I felt about it. And as I was, you know, <laughs> raw dog is crazy. Raw right? dog in life. Stop. I feel, Let me stop. I feel her. I do. Yeah. Go ahead. And it, I did more research on it, and you know, talked to my therapist about it and stuff like that. And I realized I'm like, I like working out. It gives me the natural dopamine that I need. It starts my day off, mm-hmm. and I'm looking better every day. What you gonna do, baby? I need to find about a day, okay? Mm-hmm. But that's right. Well, and my mental awareness is just getting stronger and stronger. I like working out in general. It's just, I'm upset, I work out. Mm-hmm. I, I'm frustrated. It's a stress reliever. It's, it's a Such straight relief. stress reliever. And yeah. I feel good walking out every time. <sighs> I'll fuss about it. You guys have seen me on IG. I'll fuss. I'll be like, I don't want to go today, guys. And you push yourself every and time. And I push myself to do you it every sure time. Too. And I appreciate the ones that will be in my DM, like, pushing me to go. And they don't even know me like mm. that. That's Shout out to best. y'all. Because <laughs> that's the best. I get way... I get some, so much support from random people now. Like, mm-hmm. hitting me up like, hey, Trish. So what day are you going to the gym? Because I'm thinking about joining you. Come on, join me. Or I get... Right. Someone was like, oh, what workouts do you do? Mind you, I'm not a personal trainer. I just like to do what I do. You but people be. ask me. And then sometimes I think to myself, like, hey, maybe... Like, is this my calling? Because I like to do it. I like to talk to people. I like to help people mm-hmm. feel good about themselves. And I'm like, yeah, I'm my journey right now is in tech, and that's what I want to do. But sometimes I wonder, I'm like, is it really? Right. Like, is it really something that I want to do? Mm-hmm. Like for next year going Shit. as like a sec, you know, Never jumping know. out, jumping, jumping Never out, know. you know, that fear. Cause I am fear. You know, I, I told yeah. you, I am scared to take that leap. Sometimes Why? I anxiety, uh-huh. overthinking, Oh girl, I'm trying to be control of everything, but okay. I'm just flowing with it. And that's you know the best saying? way to do it. Right. Best way. I was talking to Shandy the other day, right? <sighs> and she said she made her a return to the gym. That was yesterday, yesterday, right? Yesterday was my first day back at the gym. As long as you're... In a year. Okay. I was wow. doing home workouts during the winter time. You better than me. Running, like going for a run. And I that's the same it. thing like you said about the gym. Same thing what I said about like even working out at home because I'm typically, I need the gym to be more motivated. So I challenged myself to get up in the morning around six o'clock, go mm. for my run, come back upstairs, do my weight lifting. But now I, I got to my weight goal, right? You know, looking fine and thing. I lost my ass. Oh, so I need to get my ass back. You gotta build that ass. I gotta build that ass. So I gotta, you, girl. I you know, it's broken oh, season. I'm gonna help you, girl. I, girls can really lose their ass. I love, I love no, helping it's, women. It's nah, a girls thing. can really lose their ass, though. Like, I really, it's possible. There's a lot of things to be lost. Because you're dropping the weight and the back there is just pretty much fat. And you mm-hmm. know, you're burning fat and you're moving muscle. Mm. So now, since that's gone, whatever's left is that muscle. Exactly. So now you're pumping that up. Mm, so that's okay. why I always say, like, hey, if you're trying to drop body fat and gain weight or body recomp, mm-hmm. and you have to incorporate, you know, strength training. Right. You want to do both. I'm doing both. But I'm doing more of the weight lifting now because I love lifting weights. Like, it makes Isn't me feel great? so strong and confident. I feel like I'm beating niggas up. I'm weak. I feel like I beat niggas up. Niggas I love that Don't shit. let me do upper body day. <laughs> On the way, I can't put my arms down. What are you talking about? Listen, when I get back, it's over for everybody. You know what? George, I mean, I feel like it's already you, over. George, you look great. I think no, it's already over for like, everybody. Stop, stop, stop. I don't. Oh I my don't. goodness. I once, I'm back, once I'm back, I'm telling you because that shoulder injury, I got to yeah. get a little better. But yeah. once I get right, it's over. You look mm-hmm. amazing, though. But Thank you've been you. trying, you know. Yeah, you look good. Thank you, Shant. I look, yeah. I look good. 
You look good. I, I tried do. to tell you last week, but you thought I was bluffing. I do. I look good. Tell me you how didn't, much you I didn't, look good. You didn't accept the compliment right. she told you you looked good? He didn't, he didn't nah, she it? kept... This is oh. our first time, like, getting back to, like, oh, you know... Oh, being cool, you know. Yeah, because Shandy, she did me dirty, man. You know what I mean? We're not going to troll right now. She did me We're dirty. Not I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He could think what he wants. She did me dirty. Like it was always love. The miscommunication was just off. You know how I felt about that. <laughs> that's why. That, that, and I agree. You know and thank I'm you fair. for that. I'm not even fair. being biased about like, it. Thank that's you for that. That's Aries shit, though. I mean, I show you some Aries. Aries is mm. a sneaky. Like my boy Mike said, he said he said Aries is sneaky. Very sneaky. We're we going to talk about astrology very soon. We're going to realize that it's not generalized. No, nah, bump that. Let's talk about it right now. Oh, okay. okay. All right, pass the phone up. I'm about to get this thing to <laughs> Where you want to get started at? Because I got a few things to say. <laughs> talk about that shit right now. Bump that shit. Now, like I as said, you guys know, astrology is something I used to really love when I was younger. But as I got older, I was just like, people use it for it. Literally everything. Like, like, oh my God, you would do that. You're a Cancer. You would do that. You're an Aries. Oh my God, you're a Virgo. Oh my God, you're, I knew you was like anger, that. Oh, you have anger issues? Oh, you're a Taurus. Right. I knew it. And it's I like, I hate it. that now. It's like, now it's become it. more like, eh. And that, my friends, is the problem. <laughs> That's you, the issue. You so what do you do with astrology, Virgo? Shandy? Explain. Before I even go do? into anything, I want I just want to be like, leave a disclaimer, right? Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Astrology has nothing to do with your personalities or your or your choices. It basically depicts like, for example, like a symbolism of like even that table, I could talk about astrology. I could literally talk about astrology with this whole room that we're in right now. Like it symbolizes everything, places, people, um, mm-hmm. travel. It so it's not per se about the personality and not every cancer is the same. Not every Tell Aries is the same. Everybody People have been generalizing them. and totally forgetting the point that we got. We're basically all the signs in one. Okay. Ooh. Because we got rising signs. We got we do. moon signs. We got... So sometimes people be like, placements. yes, That's exactly. All. Thank you. Oh, so people be like, I, don't, I can't stand Gemini the whole time. They got Gemini moon. So they talking about themselves. <laughs> Way so the placements <laughs> describe how you are as a person all all together. throughout from your from when you're born to like believe it or not it kind of de- says how you're gonna die when you're gonna die we ain't gonna go into that though but it, 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 it dark it, real quick yeah See it gets what I mean dark about the astrology so dark. But, what I mean but I do not want we to know all have free will Mm-mm. absolutely I, not and that's why I don't read I don't read it for that but like we all have free will so oh, everything God. is based off your choices at the end of the day. Mm. Like, you could feel certain things, but at the end of the day, what are you choosing to do? Mm. So, yeah. Astrology is so, like, you're going to like you, it again. You're going to like it again. Nah, mm. I told you <laughs> what, when I was born, because I actually got the evidence. I told her when I was you know born so and everything in the day. So she going to do the birth chart right now. Yes, I'm going to pull up your birth chart. And I'm going to pull up Trish's birth chart, too. So well, let's start with... My, I'll tell you, me and my I already know she I just have to understand it more, but I do know my big three, if I'm correct. Yeah, my big three is... is and that's good. the most important part, anyways, is like, when you know that, you kind of know, all right, the gist of things. So, George... Uh, I'm curious to know about George. I think I can understand the majority of it. Come so, <laughs> on. What's your big three? I think we'll, be, we'll understand George more. My big three after is... Today. Cancer, Sun, Leo, Rosin, Aquarius, Moon. Okay. Yeah, so... Right? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're on point. So as the Ascendant in Leo, the Sun is like... is going to stand out. It doesn't do anything to shine. So you're born to shine. You're born to... People... You attract people, basically. The only <laughs> thing is... It has Chiron, which is a wounded aspect. Meaning, normally, <laughs> when people with ascending Leos, they naturally gravitate towards people and they get recognized, you may um, have issues with getting recognized for the things that you do. You may feel like you got to put in a lot of work. Hmm. You may feel like um, and you're, you're extremely talented, but you don't get the acknowledgement that you feel like you deserve. But okay. the um, thing mm. that you could heal that with um, is accepting and recognizing yourself. And as you do that with yourself, everybody... It's gonna have no choice but to abide by that. They're gonna see what you see, and it's like a bonus because you don't give a fuck. You don't care at the end of the day. You don't care who sees you. You don't Mm. care to get the validation. Right. So that's something that you may have to just you probably dealt with, especially as a child. Like um, people either projecting onto you, people um, misunderstanding you, Mm -hmm. not really seeing you, and um, 
most of the things they could play about is probably things about themselves because maybe you're there to just reflect that to them and they don't even know that because mm. you're the sun. You're like the light, you know? Mm. And sometimes you shine light on people's shadows and when they look at you through like envy or jealousy, it's really something with that they deal with <laughs> than themselves. Face. You got all that from that? Yeah. I'm telling you straight up. Ooh. It's astrology is real. Ooh. Astrology is real. Ooh. Astrology is real, y'all. Okay. Astrology is real. That's, that's <laughs> astrology is real. That's different. Okay, so let's go into, um, that's one thing that stood out. I made a whole note too, because, you know, it's like it's like studies. Hmm. That's the great thing. Everybody has different kind of aspects, different kind of things about themselves. Mm. It's like a book, like your own book, your personal book. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, okay, you also have Mars near that alignment. All right, so here's the good thing about you naturally <laughs> standing out, right? But also not feeling like you're getting recognized. You're not the type to back down, though. You're the type to still do what you got to do, regardless of who sees it or not. Right. You're more like very action orientated and it shows in your physique it shows in your broad shoulders it shows in you your shoulders stance. my boy I you know you're looking you. real you know <laughs> real strong <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it, of course with the leo it just helps to like grab the attention is just that that core um feeling of damn what am I am I doing enough? But you're always gonna be doing enough. Do exactly what you feel called to do and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Amazing. Sure, <laughs> bitch. I like yours. I like yours. Yours is good. Okay, so it's cute. That's yeah, cute. it is cute. So let's go into the um. Do you want to talk about career or love? Which one you want to talk about? Because I got do some love. things to say. Do love. Of course, I'm, you want to. I'm gonna choose it. You Come know on. what? Career and love for you go hand in hand, George. Why is what? that? Because you have Venus in your tenth house, and tenth house is all about career status, fame. So your partner is going to probably be somebody that's very highly influential, very out there, very well known. Um, you're attracted to that, attracted to women that have their shit together. Oh, um, you true. do. That's true. And that's in your, Venus is your 10th house. So like, Tenth house is basically career, status, fame, right? That's why I'm so picky. What? <laughs> you are, but there's nothing wrong with that. You just want what you want, yeah. and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to be picky. Yeah. Yeah. I like my niggas picky. I like that. I do. <laughs> I do. I like. I like my niggas picky. I, I like. You gotta have value. You gotta self value. Like you gotta know. Who you can't be yeah, giving yourself to everybody. To like everybody. that's just, That's nasty. We don't like community. Yeah. We don't like community. No community dick. We no do community. not do community dick. Nah. So yeah, George. Um, you have that in Taurus, and Taurus is a sign that's about sustainability. Um, anything you do is for the long term. It's mm -hmm. not no short term thing. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put in the work. When I say the work, you're gonna put in the work to create a beautiful life, a well rounded life, beauty, art, creativity, everything that's just mm -hmm. that lavish comfort. And you gotta work hard for it. You're gonna work hard for it. Mm -hmm. um, and you may um, enter a business partnership and love partnership together. It may be. Oh. Somebody that you could work with, somebody you could take off with, um, and with we're gonna go into love with Aquarius, uh, a full moon, a moon in Aquarius, right? Mm -hmm. Your partner is most likely gonna be somebody unconventional, somebody that even you may not even expect it to see yourself with, mm. somebody Ooh. that people won't expect to see you with. Your partner may be, um, you're going to go into Saturn being in your, self, your seventh house. Your seventh house is about marriage, partnerships, um, love too. Mm -hmm. And with Saturn, Saturn is a planet that restricts, is a restriction and it's all about old age. So your partner may be a little bit older than you mm -hmm. um, or probably younger. It, it It's really just un anything unconventional, anything dealing with just like something out of the norm. Something you would Unorthodox. Expect. Yeah. Yeah. A woman older and on top. You said what? Huh? Oh, you said? Go ahead, huh? continue. <laughs> you can hide it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this yeah. Is good. I like this. This it's, is. It's interesting. You know you a lover boy, George. I am. You're such a lover. That's why I was like, I, I was I like, say that all the time. I was like, like lover boy. Let's G. look into love. Lover boy. He was, like, he was like, would you want to look at money, career or love? Look at the love first. Lover boy. Let's G. see what lover boy is talking about. Yeah. Okay. I see that, and I see that. Um, it may be like people may not be able to see that because you may not show it as much because you have a placement mercury is it mercury let me look mm. Mm. interesting you had a placement in the 12th house and i was like is this man psychic or something because 12th house is all about it's like a pisces placement and it's really about um you have mercury and cancer in the 12th house it's about mm -hmm. like really the depth like really things that's unseen right. like that your dream life 
your mind, your visions. Like you probably even get flashbacks of things that happened in the past because cancer is a sign of just like nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And then you either see a lot of uh, visions of the future. You probably do a lot of daydreaming sometimes and that helps you um, with communication. And it may also in a way restrict you because uh, you may not know how to express yourself sometimes because Uh it's kind of uncomfortable, either uncomfortable or yeah, you're you're not able to access that because the 12th house is something that I have a 12th house moon and my emotions, sometimes I don't even know why I'd be sad. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you may not is. understand why you feel the way you feel. Um, and that may be because of this placement, Mercury in the 12th house. Let's see. And learn how to balance your logic with your um, em- emotions. Don't be too on one end. Be on a balance. That don't be part. too logical. Don't get into much of your feelings because it's going to no. fuck you up. Mm. Yeah. It's a struggle sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, oh I yeah, when fun. it comes back back to the relationships, when it comes to like love and hmm. anything with partners, be careful of egos. Be careful of um, trying to assert your ego. And um, if your partner does the same thing, learn how to just react because it's like a push and pull between Saturn and the sun. Mm-hmm. When you're shining so bright and somebody may not be able to understand or um, know how to handle it, it may bring on some um, power ties, power struggles. So just be careful. And the last thing I have for you is, all right, so North Node. They said that your sun sign is basically who you're growing into. So Mm -hmm. you're a cancer. You're trying to learn how to tap in more into your feelings and understand yourself at the core, right? Mm -hmm. But um, your North Node is all about your kind of like a life path, your journey, who you're, who you're, what, what exactly are you achieving? Right. And in this lifetime, it may contradict with your profession because you're in this life, in, in this lifetime, you're going to have to learn how to uh, manage being more in your own space than outside with people. You get, you, you're, you're great at social life. You're great with having connections. Mm-hmm. This is something that's you could do in your sleep, honestly. Mm-hmm. You don't, you're not afraid of having community and network and doing the podcast and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you got to balance that with, all right, I'm going to go home and I'm just going to tune into just, in, and when I say home, inside here. Okay. It doesn't have to be like your home home, but like tuning in with you more. So when you go out there, you're going to immediately be projected upon nothing that everybody think about you is going to affect you because you you have that inner that strength that that really strong inner core feeling like i know who i am regardless if anybody knows or not yeah so oh that's dope don't be too involved into your career that you forget who you are that's basically it okay okay all right so how you feel how you feel? (laughs) oh i gotta do yours i got um, oh you can hold on to it got it that's different Hmm. It's different. Yeah. Something you could look into, right? Yeah, now you got me. I'm just saying, George, you may, this could be a bread and butter. You looking into astrology and then maintaining your life and home balance, it's going to be like something that comes easy to you. Because um, even knowing more information is important for you. That's like something that you're, you're doing on a day to day. What matters more, the birth chart, like the whole birth chart, or just the three, the big three? The whole birth chart together. But in in the big three, um, I would say focus a lot about the North Node. You have it in Sagittarius, which is something that you're doing. You're here to give out information. You're here to speak. You're here to face your fears and step out and and travel and teach and and share information with people. But um, I'm trying, man. (laughs) I'm trying. Influential. Basically, it's giving giving that. I will focus on my North Node. I will focus on uh, my Rising because that's basically that Leo Rising is basically that's that's who you out there to like be. That's that's okay. that's your character, your your mask. Everybody's looking at that. And then I would say Moon definitely because that's who you are when you're home and nobody's Worries. with you. Oh and yeah, that's unconventional <laughs> in itself. That right there, that of course, your taste is different. You're just different, and as long as you accept that, you're good. And then your oh, Sun gosh. sign, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you said that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, that, Trish. Uh, I'm a Virgo. Like I'm amazing. Oh, Lord. I love it. I love it. And this is your season. It's definitely our season. How you feeling? I'm feeling to the front line. That's how I feel. I feel like we're just to the front line, and we're just saying how we want, Listen. saying what we want, so what we don't want, what we like, what we don't like. You're the only Virgo. Very I precise. Like. And I, I love know. it. You're the only Virgo I like. I said. Only Virgo. You like. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is a Virgo. 
And yeah, mm. we just building. Mm. We building. I'm weak. She we said building. we're building. We're building. As like an we're Aries, we're, I don't blame you. That's what I'm see. saying. I don't. I don't blame you. And that's I, why I, I'm mm-hmm. not taking it and generalize. Cause I can look at you and be like, oh my mother, I can't say my, I can't stand because my mom does this and that. But you on a, you mad cool, chill. Like I could, I could chill with you. Yeah, I want to know what's in that. Let's 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 look at this. That. I want to know. Here's why I think you guys are perfect <laughs> as co-hosts because. Really? Trish here has an ascendant in Aquarius. And then you turn with your moon, it just, all right. You shine light on his comfort, his, you know, your oh. like his rock in a way where um you just get him. You get him on an emotional level. Ascendant in um just a Aquarius. Thing. So <laughs> <laughs> you're very unconventional, just as is. You stand out and you can't help yourself. Yeah, um, yeah, and I be chilling. <laughs> I really do. I be chilling. All you, I do is work out and mind my business. I love it, and you shine the most in community and um, outreach, helping each other, humanitarian vibes, building mm. community, and you have your tenth house in Sag. Like I was saying earlier, like it goes hand in hand because Sagittarius is like going out there, going outside of home and the community and going like traveling like long distance type well, traveling think. and teaching mm. that's your 10th house so it's like mm. caring more about making a good impression on the public as your with your career mm. okay. have, you have your son in virgo so naturally <laughs> okay. your work ethic is up there it's always up there. it's just up there you keep you listen and very Kibuki. very strategic very strategizing <laughs> I can't with y'all. And your That's son is in the seventh house. So like partnership and marriage and stuff, that's something that is a concern to you down the line, especially. You would love to have like a family and business partners together. I, I, like I see that. I see you do? that. Power yeah. and influence. Yeah. When you like, deny it, you mean not. It's just something that I see here, like as far as with jobs, when it comes to you, it's like you're... It's, who you are business wise is basically really important to you. Like your personality and everything. Like it gotta be up there. Like ain't no lack days or laziness going on over here, basically. Right. So right. it shines light on that. That's illuminating in your life. Absolutely. Your moon is in Leo, so you feel safe with all the praise and admiration. You feel safe with shining your light. You feel safe with people like, you know, um, Showering you with love and money and offering you gifts hmm. and treating. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. What do you mean interesting? interesting. What do you, what do you with mean? With the money thing, yeah. Uh, what? I'm not going to say it. Go ahead. You don't want to say it? No, right. no, no, I'm not going to do that to her. Mm-mm. Your moon is in Leo, so <laughs> <laughs> you guys are You want to troll funny. so bad. I do. You want to troll so bad. I know so exactly. Bad. When she said that with the money thing, I'm like, oh, yeah. Can you? Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that later. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Continue. But they did say you have a strong ability to get get your coin, so you may not even need. You know, you're always gonna get, and you're gonna be. It's very important for you to have um order, structure, organization. You're not going to be okay without it. Routine. I'm not okay if I have a type of. And you see, I do Monday to Thursday. Oh, six house every time. Yeah. Six house is perfect because six house is like um daily routine. Whatever you're getting up to do every day, that's significant for you. Having that 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 balance with with Virgo being so precise is like a consistent routine is beneficial, and especially with health, working mm-hmm. out and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, and Virgo is very mental too, so I understand why the mind. Why you, you feel mental, I get it. Right? I get they it. They mental, right? <laughs> They mental, all right? Mm-hmm. You want to you wanna say something? <laughs> I feel like you got now, something to say I, so One thing I can say about Trish, though, is that when it comes to, like, the gym, can't get in the way of that. That's like I a, love that. That's her husband, like... That's big. He's like, wait, I got to I gotta go to the gym, so... You know, you gonna I'm going to, to the gym first, so I don't <laughs> like, know what you... I'll come to the session. What we going to do? Yeah. That's how she is. Yeah. Well, that's what he said about me. It. Wonder how's my love? Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> you, I'm looking at it right now. I want to know the love too. I want to know the love. Too. I, I need to know Trisha's love um, story. Ooh, okay, so Venus and Virgo. You said, ooh, I don't, I don't. I never saw Venus and Virgo before. It's very different, and it's like basically trying to coexist with the logic <laughs> and the emotion with um, relationships. It's like um, there's kind of some difficulties there when it comes to like mm. love and. Um, kind of making a strict uh, 
routine within yourself mm. and learning how to balance that with everybody else, learning how to contribute your time with that. somebody else. I it's don't very be like, having time to yeah, give. Yeah, that's it. And um, I'm only one person. Girl. Oh, please. <laughs> But it does say here that your your marriage will bring wealth and you're it, it, you're likely to have because you have Venus in the seventh house. So love versus marriage, like that's to me is a perfect placement. It's just that you got to learn how to like balance time for you and time for your partner and it, it not realize it's not only about you and your time, but also making space and time if you really want it to work. That is first off, you don't, don't read me like work. that. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that. Not, not on if this you- show. <laughs> You're not gonna do that. I'm sorry, crazy. girl. I'm sorry. I'm just the just messenger. Happened. I'm just the messenger. But um, nah, say it all. Say the real. Your relationships will change. Will like change you. It will uh mm. give you a sense of just beginnings. Like it will add some kind of like artistic values into your life because you had a Venus in the seventh house. Like to me, that goes hand. Like I like that placement because seventh house is like marriage and partnerships. Venus is like. Pleasure and love. Loki, you a love a girl too. Let me I'm find definitely a love a girl. I'm I, not love, gonna lie. I love it, it here. I'm 100% a love a girl. I love girl. it here. But in her story, is it going to be like a a new lover, old lover type thing? Or... You are trolling. And I'm I just see asking. where you going with this. <laughs> is it going to be like a new person? Uh, or I, it's gonna be old, so it, could, old it could be from it years, could be longevity. any if because Virgo is very like um is not going with the flow. You'll be very Facts. strategic when it comes to your partnership though. Hmm. I mean, you'll be very so it doesn't even say whether it's gonna be old or just know that when it comes to your partnerships, like you cho- you cho- you're, cho- you're choosing. I'm you're choosing. choosing. You're choosing. Hundred percent. Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm gonna. Look you're not around. playing Good about that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just long. So uh, we talked about your Mars and Gemini, right? <laughs> and Gemini being a, a sign that's all about communication and uh, Mars being very driven and ambitious and kind of like, um, to me, when I think of Gemini, I think of like, damn, all over the place. So kind of like monitoring where's your focus going and distributing your focus and staying focused on one thing at a time and not trying to do too much. I'm just jumping into You have it in the third house. So like that is influencing the people around you as well. Learn how to balance the people around you. Mm -hmm. Um, Learning um, how to hold boundaries with the people around the people around you on a daily basis. Um, I'm starting to love to say no. Very direct and sharp though. Very direct and sharp. Very, yeah, that that sharp mouth, like yeah. Yeah, my mouth is, is crazy. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm crying. I'm okay, crying. and then we're gonna go into <sighs> let's go slap. into your 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 destiny. Let's go into what you came in this lifetime to. Um, yeah, I want to know too. To really oh. achieve, we have North Node in Aquarius, so you're here to be the one that's gonna stand out. Basically, you're here to be the one that's going to initiate some shit. And um, cause a revolution, cause a change in, a, in any way, in any way that you see fit, any way that's comfortable with you. Because you have certain things where people could say, oh, I see you this way. But how do you see yourself? Like, mm. how are you presenting? What do you see for yourself? Right. Um, you had that in the 12th house. So it's going to be a lot of like um, you being to yourself first before you bring anything out to the public. It's Absolutely. a lot of. I have to figure it out first. Yeah. What's that word? Introvert, like introversion, like being very to yourself, mm-hmm. um, getting your ideas, whether it's for business, whether it's for helping the community. You get that through, you could even, I would say daydream, um, do some visualization sometimes. I have ADHD. I daydream every day. Well, it, see, it, 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 it works. <laughs> every day. While you were talking, I zoned out a little bit. I'm not going to you. I, I get Watch it. it. I do I'm it too. Real. I understand. It. I do it all the time. Because with a lot of information, I get it. It like goes... Oh, I'm taking it in, yeah. but it's like I said, my eyes zoned out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they say here you need to be open to your spirituality and imagination more. So even mm-hmm. when you're daydreaming, see how we can make it work for you. So, like make the ADHD work for you. Make it your of bitch. I do. Yeah, basically. Of course I so do. like, yeah, I honestly I'm seeing by looking at both of y'all charts, I'm like, okay, y'all are on some okay, y'all know what y'all doing. We great. Wow. And I and I'm here for it. I'm really here for really? it. Yeah. Kinda... So we're a good duo. Yeah, yeah. You think so? Mesh well. Dang. I don't know what's what, what, what's going on with his head, but y'all gonna mesh it out later because he was out here being kind of like not saying what he had to say. What? What you mean? Mm. Don't you... get him wait, started. Wait, wait. Are you are you trying to come at me? <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave you alone. Let's not come. I'm gonna leave you alone yeah. before you come at me. What else I'm good. Going on? Yeah, she was, was the, guys. She was the one in the last episode that was talking all that mess. 
You know what I mean? But that oh, thank you for that, by the way, that, that breakdown. That breakdown. Once that that was first really, and foremost, thank yeah, you for that thank breakdown you. for that me. That was and, really good. Yeah. I, I learned I learned some stuff. Thank you. Uh, I love so astrology. I yeah. But those who don't know, I'm an astrologist and I do birth chart reading. So come to me. I will tell you like it is. I will not lie to you. Mm-hmm. I don't. You have to go and fold up. You don't have to call me. I got you. I got you. Oh my god. Anyway. Anywho, moving on. Moving on. Um, Trish, is there anything you wanna wanna bring up before I get into the next topic, or you wanna, you know? Why are we? Are we, are we it's whatever. It's you supposed to be talk telepathic about. or something. Yes. I'm supposed to say something. So whatever you wanna you wanna bring up. Oh, we gonna talk about dating? Okay, let's talk about it. Being friends with people that you like, that like each other but doesn't go anywhere. Let's talk about well, that. you talking about me and Shandy? That's what she just. No, I wasn't bringing that up. I meant that in I mean, general. Oh, okay. Since you put it out there, we cop. could make it an example. I'm not a cop. <laughs> I thought she was trying to start. I wasn't something. even. You talking about me trolling? I, you just trying to. I, I mean, I mean, since you put it out there, we could start. We could like make an example. Then that could be a, a great that's example. A perfect. That's a perfect you know what? example. I you actually... wanna? You trying to start? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I ain't never scared. Like okay, bone crusher. <laughs> right. I was just about to say that. Okay. Throwback. Y'all don't even know. What that I just want to know. Like, is it possible? Like, sometimes you can like. You know, two people can like each other, but y'all not just y'all not meant to be together. Mm. You know, that goes for and certain individuals. So. It, what? It depends. <laughs> it depends because I it goes for certain individuals. You know? I got out of. I broke. I broke up with my my friend, mm. like of twelve years. Like oh, me yeah. and him do not speak anymore because mm. I won't. Go there with him. I won't Let's date go there. him. What do you huh? mean? Go there. Date him. Like, oh. like, I don't, I cherish our friendship so much that it was just like, I'm like, I'm knowing since 11th grade. Bro. Was he like having feelings for you or something? Like, he was, he was, he was, yeah. With me. That was a long time. You said 12, how 12 many? years. I haven't, we haven't spoken oh, like six months now. Oh, six months. Oh, I be, think be, you did tell me about this. I told you, remember? Yeah. And it was it was hard for me. It bothered oh, me a little gosh. bit because it's like, you've been my guy for God knows. You see me with depressive. I when he was having this episode, like I was there. We mm. really were connected. Like he saw Damn. me before anybody saw me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I know that had to be hard for Let you. Let me not get <laughs> Yo, no. That's, That's my guy. And like, if he, you had to make that choice though, like just because you know he, that I want him to grow so bad like I want him to he's such a beautiful soul mm-hmm. and like he's a Capricorn Ooh, I know Capricorn oh know. lord y'all kill me with these damn signs <laughs> he's a Capricorn. boy just based off the, the ones I that I I just think when, whenever somebody says a sign I think just people like oh my god Ooh. I mean, I mean, just based off our for own every experience, sign I feel like. just based, yeah, every, cause trust me, there's a pe- lot of people that hate Aries, uh, and there's a lot of people that love them. I, I can't stand them motherfuckers. I'm just cool whoever cool <laughs> with me. I'm at this point. I, I don't even care. This is why I'm I like her. Player. I'm just cool <laughs> whoever cool with me. I'm, I'm not cool even weird like that. <laughs> I don't even care. I make it as simple as possible. You nice to me, I'm nice to you. That's it. Exactly. Thank you. Like, if you nice to me, I'm nice to you. We can be buddy, buddy. I treat you like family. But now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Different. See? Somebody that's logical, you know? <laughs> but now, like I was saying though, like as far as friends, you know. Dating. Liking, liking each, each other. other and stuff like that. Not like, y'all saying each other's words together. This is so good. I, 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 I felt what Trish was saying with oh that. that I felt it too because I'm yeah. just like, you know, it's such a touchy thing. Like, it's yeah. very like, um, <sighs> you kind of could get yourself into some shit when it comes to being friends with somebody you like. And I feel like it's honestly honorable because you don't want to rush too fast into things with mm-hmm. people, but then you also need boundaries. You also need to monitor, okay, this is not just a platonic friend. This is somebody that I actually have feelings, feelings for. for. So it gets it gets kind of <sighs> iffy. Mm. And then you start hearing about their love, like other love situations. Mm-hmm. And then they start hearing about your love situation. Then y'all both know y'all like each other, but y'all both know y'all want to take time to get to know each other. Listen, transparency is real. I like that. But- some shit. I'd rather be transparent with you. True. Let you know Always everything. I don't like to hide nothing from you. It's it's, it's important too. Like I fuck? I honestly like the Keep idea the of it, <laughs> and I could say like we, me. I like the idea of liking George, but also um, being okay with being the friend to listen in on. I don't want to hear everything now, but like oh, if you could everything. be. You could. Not, I love that. <laughs> I get, I get she everything. does say everything. I love that for you too, because I I also have I like a platonic friends with guys that I'm hearing their stories. I'm hearing all the stories, and I'm just like. But yeah, I can't tell you everything because you like 
Your eyes start to twitch. My eyes start to twitch. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, your eyes start to twitch. Yeah. Also, when you start, yeah, really get to know each other, not online, and y'all take that space, and y'all actually like really be friends, and then y'all know each other's like situations. Yeah. You start to think, be like. I can't date you, bro. <laughs> That's the thing. I can't. Like, That's now that I'm thing. like, I have you as my friend, I wouldn't date you. You would have had me like that girl you're talking to now. You mm. fuck it. Trip Can it. I be honest? That would worry. That, that worries me. Some women still take the leap, though. They love still is, take that leap. Love is, you women know. take that leap, still. Shooters is going to shoot. Yeah. What's the worst going to happen? It's going to work out or it don't. Y'all don't be friends or it just becomes weird. That's the and worst that's thing That's the happen. benefits of being friends, I feel. Like, if y'all could still be friends, if if the feelings start to shift and you realize, oh, maybe we can't be lovers, mm-hmm. at least you got a friend. Now, it's all about how are we operating as friends on mm-hmm. this journey of figuring out if we could make this a shit work or not. Because really, who's like, all right. There's a lot of people jumping into situations that are like really fast because they want the outcome to be relationship. Right. But if you're looking at it as mm. okay, regardless if, if it ends, it will end in friendship or relationship. It don't matter to me. I think that's more beneficial than to say, oh, I just I'm looking at this as a relationship, which doesn't it doesn't work. I'm I put in all that time for what? Mm. I missed out on a possible great ass connection. Experience. Yeah. I got an Everybody's an experience. And once you realize that, mm-hmm. it makes it easier to move on and just go about everybody else's journey. We don't belong to anybody if you want to get technical. You think we don't. It. That is true. If you want to get technical. Yes. I just think that when you're friends with someone, you build that bond. <laughs> and <laughs> why, why I'm just, laughing? I'm listening. And then, like, when you're friends, like, with some. I don't like the way you just said <laughs> But now, when you're friends with somebody, I feel like at the end of the day, like, it's like, something like a start of something like you don't that's why i never like rushing into stuff like i'm not a rusher like i don't like like when i'm talking to you mm-hmm. i want to just feel your vibe like it'll be like it's crazy because like on a dating app like the hinge apps like that like i've talked to people on there and it's like we'll talk for like one two weeks and they'd be like yo it, they make it seem like it's been months and it's like They'd be like, yo, so why you, when you go take me on a date? I'm mm. like, wait a minute. I just minute. met, I know you. Like, like, wait, 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 it's been two, yeah, three we weeks and you're like, yo, like, what's, what's good with the date? I'm like, like I got to fill you out at yeah. the end of the day because I'm not going to want to go on a date if I, unless I really want to go on that date with mm-hmm. you. So mm-hmm. I don't, I just, it's I got to. It's time. F- Ain't no rush. That's if they saying. are rushing, they're not for you. Why right. are you in a rush to be in somebody else's face? Listen, I got to eat food and entertain And shit, me. being the one that out, was that's rushing. That's a lot. It takes a lot. Yeah. So how long you think after, like, all right, so, so you meet somebody on a dating app or whatever, mm-hmm. how long you think it should be y'all talk for before y'all actually meet up in person? Mm. That varies. That varies. I like hmm. that answer. Let me, let me tell you why that varies. Because it happened. This is a... Disclaimer, this is an old story. Please. <laughs> Disclaimer, this is an old story. There's a guy in my DM. Mm-hmm. Found me. He was like, I saw you, mutual friend, but da da. Started chopping them up. I was like, okay, this guy, all right. <laughs> chopping it up. We exchanged numbers, whatever the case may be. He was so adamant to see me. He saw me like the next week. But it was a vibe. We, were, um... we built that rapport like that. I like and we that. like we vibed out. We're still cool. We're still cool. We I didn't work that. out, but we're still, still cool. cool. Like, How many times y'all linked up? Huh? How many times y'all linked up? <laughs> a few times. Oh, a few times. Oh, okay. I get it. Interesting. <laughs> a few times. Interesting. Okay. You know, so it, it should work be, out. So it's either after a week, like you said, very. It's subjective. Worries. It's highly subjective, but I shouldn't be talking to you for like uh, more than three weeks and haven't even seen. Like, even if you're okay. going to go take That's a fair. walk somewhere, I'm not asking you to take me to a, a whole dinner. Like, That's fair. We, could, we could, yeah, we I could, like, like, like I'm still getting to know you, but That's I need fair. to know who the hell I'm talking. Like, because people be having these masks on through text and stuff, and then you see you see them, you meet, meet them, you get the energy. It's a whole different, like, who the, who the fuck is this? Yeah. 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 Person. yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That's valid. It, like I said, it varies. Like I said, it varies. It depends varies on you and the person. Yes. You can see him in three months. You can see him in three days. No, nah, three Who months knows? is crazy. Three, three months is wild. It's you want three months? No, nah, three, three months. I never. I don't think I ever. It's giving catfish. Days. Yeah. <laughs> Why have you? Been I, like I told you in my last time, like it's been well, that was years. That was like an R and all thing. I mm-hmm. finally saw her. I was like, oh, whoo, okay, no catfish. But um, nah, I just feel like, I guess, yeah, you're right. Two, three weeks, it should be. The minimum, no, the maximum, and then you should be able to see the person. But you know what it is for me, because like for me, because you know, every time I sign, is it just me? It could be just me. It's but just every you. time, 
<laughs> I'm just like, ahead. you're so annoying. Go you crazy. Wanna, you want to beat him up together? I, Go after. crazy. Got Go you. Crazy. I got you. She said, you take one arm, I take the next arm. All right. All right. You don't, you don't, you, yeah. Go crazy. I got you. <laughs> The only thing that kills me about every time, every time I hop on a dating app, it reminds me why I hop off. Man, yeah. like, I be <laughs> out that shit I go so in fast. there like... Dating apps is trash. What is this? What I is, feel like I'm standing through a catalog buying people. I don't like that <laughs> shit. Not a catalog. Like, seriously, I be deleting oh. the fuck out there. And there be so much weirdos, like... I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Oh, Thank my you. God. The audacity mm. on these Hinge um, profiles... I think that's the top number one, though. I think one guy said... Tinder's I think one of the things, he was like, no fat yeah, bitches. Uh, wait, wait, say it again. He said no fat bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I that mean, you have crazy. your preference and shit, but damn. He said it just like that on his thing. He said on his, you know, I think through the audio that's profile. Wild. That's crazy. Right. Not him actually like, saying no, it. Mind you, he's shaped like a dirty laundry bag. So how yeah. the Talk hell, about it. Talk about it. So please. how are you talking about no fat bitches? That's what I'm saying. The audacity nah, on these. Like, I'm like completely confused here. That's wild. That's, dating. That's wild. But clearly, I'm off of them. I just leave it. I just rather just do it old school. Meet somebody walking down the street. Yeah. I see you in Barnes and Noble. I'm telling you, the type of person you want, I think, it depends on where you go. I if agree. If you're not looking to meet, if you're looking to meet a man, it's not going to be in the club. For example, the gym, right? You meet people in the gym. And... The gym is the gym. Hmm? The gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have moves just change quick. You see that, right? The whole gym. Y'all give up. Because you're my close friends. Oh, yeah. That's right. You hear my close story friends. Time. Close friends. Yo. <laughs> That's a new. That's gonna be a segment for me. Close friends, like we gotta, you gotta be able to like say one I, thing out I the think close I'm friends. Still, that I'm still posted. kicked out, but it's okay. What do you mean? Close. Oh, oh, I'm oh, my you? close friends. Yeah, kicked out. I'm in oh. there. VIP. I'm in there. Like, Yo, <laughs> we're VIP. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You okay. saw her in my um close friends, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We was gonna do a little something like uh nah I figured it no more. Yeah. I'm bugging. <laughs> we're gonna I'm do a, bugging. We're gonna, you was yeah. gonna do a little what? Nah, nothing. Like nothing. Something, I, was about something? To, I was about to say something, something wild oh, just now. Oh, okay. And I caught myself. Dang. I caught myself. Could have been edited though. I still wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We're gonna tell you after this. We're gonna tell you after this. Yeah, that's great. But nah, like I think we should do that. I'm saying it right now. We should do like a segment where we say one thing that we post out our close friends. Okay. That'll be lit. Cool. We can do that. Start now. I bet. Screw it. Fuck it. We ball. Go. Fuck it. Am I close friends? Yeah. What's one thing you post to your close friends that nobody know about? I can't say. Yo, just <laughs> said I'm ready. Shorty just said I'm ready and that's the answer. I can't say. That's crazy. Oh, Next man. episode, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't know who's watching this. That's crazy. You lied to oh, me. Yeah. But she be ready. She be ready. You like, me she up. got the chopper. Like she ready. God. You feel Yo, me? Nah, the only thing I, I can really say that I posted on my close friends is just like you know conversations of men like wanting to eat my butt and stuff. Oh okay. And stuff like that, or like, or I, I get. Love it. I'm not posting the good stuff. Like what you say? Instagram Nothing. is gonna ban me. I already posted some such <laughs> shit on my close friends. They call me like that. No, I, your close friends. Yeah, I posted. That something. means the person the close friend reported it. Yeah, that's, that's what that crazy. means. Because I posted something yeah. crazy in my close friends, and then and they've reported me. Got, me? Yeah, that means a person. And that. I think that means the person in the close friends. Well, you gotta you gotta, you gotta do some kind of filter and do those close because friends people with. post a whole bunch of sex videos, all that. That's what I'm happened. saying. I'm in a few. Shout out to the people who I don't know who randomly put me in. Yeah, what kind of life I'm like, living? Because I have not. Yeah, I have yet to see porn on my close friends. I've seen this guy. They be wilding. Dig out some gal one time. What? Yo. Next time a different gal. <laughs> I'm crying. Digging her out. Close friends. Don't know this man. Get at out all. of here. Hey, just do you in the close there. friends. I don't wow. know. I don't know. Sheesh. Why are you saying she and D was wrong? I'm going through a, a something right now. Because I'm i like, what kind of life I'm living? I, I don't even post she's to my having, close friends. She's happy with girls. But if I was to like, you know, because I feel like my life kind of like, kind of dry right now. I'm like really it's in tune okay. with myself. I'm really like That's locked fine. in. Yeah. But with, you know, when it start getting popping. That's what happens when Just you, like the close friends going to get are. crazy. That's what happens when you <laughs> when, when skip you, over a person, then you let the other person get involved and then... Oh, woo. let's let's not even no get no shade. Then it's like, woo, like no tea, damn. No shade. So she trying to say that it, it would have got it would have got popping and lit. Is what you trying to say? You would got popping and lit with who? Oh, with y'all too. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Trish. I was gonna say it. I'm sorry. Yo. Y'all too. No, See, inquiring I minds would like to know. Next time, on your ass. Inquiring minds would like to know. What you say? Inquiring minds would like to know. No, no, I'm just saying that. Mm. Mm. My, my bro's trying okay. to say, what's up? Nah, we good. We friends. Good. That's good being friends. 
We friends. I'm good being friends. Besties, right? We done it's friends on each other. The best relationships start off as friends. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's what they all say. <laughs> That's what they all say. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to get into, uh, I got a few more, but I wanted to get into this topic about grudges, right? Mm. So, That's the one for me. when you hold grudges, right? I'm gonna ask you this. So okay. when you hold, I'm, it goes to both of y'all, but I'm gonna ask you first. Okay. Do you think? So you know when you hold a grudge from a, a situation and you think that a person is doing something doing you wrong, and then you are like, damn, like fuck this person. He's only using me for this. You think that the person's using you for that first, but you put that as a grudge. Do you think that's like protecting your peace, or do you think that's like? Like, Shit. damn, like, he's being petty. Like, I'm being petty. Like, let me just let this, you know, let me just talk to this person as a grown adult. Just what to be think? clear, he's talking about me and him, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not. I'm not. But anyways I'm not. I'm not. that's a beautiful I'm not. example. I'm not. I'm but I'm going I'm to be honest. Like, I'm going to be honest because I was, the, I was the grudge holder. And um, that was some childish shit because in the, in the, at the time I wasn't able to, like, really mm. see... Um, I still had a lot of a lot of healing to do, you know. Yeah. I had a lot of um, introspection, yeah, as long as a lot of you know. Aware. And I'm I'm aware, like I'm aware, aware, and I be aware of the shit while I'm going through it. So it, it gets real over here. Like I be so real with myself. Um, I I really, when it comes to holding grudges, right now, back then, I would hold a grudge. I will. You, I mean, you sorry. I, I will hold a grudge. <laughs> you saw it. I, I will like, but I had to learn that shit was only um it wasn't benefiting any like it was hurting me if anything the resentment um would build will build up and what is that really gonna solve like at the end of the day if you're emotionally still tied to someone whether it's um holding grudges or um being in love with them any mm-hmm. kind of emotionally tied it, it's still there the connection is still there you're still feeling something right. so it's still gonna be affecting you. So you, now, you know yeah. Hate? You know what, what I hate though? What? I just lost my train of thought. I was just thinking really crazy about something. And I was about to really let y'all have it. I just lost my train of thought. You God damn hey, it. God. It literally happened to me just God now. I was damn waiting it. to be like, Trish, what you think? I'm like, <laughs> train of thought. That train just, has left the track. track. I oh, don't I know, know what I was going to say. What? So I, you know what I hate about me, my, myself? Mm. This is just how I am. I guess I'm just... I don't know. That's how I am. Okay. Even with relationships and friendships, mm-hmm. I notice with me, it's like I always got to give a reach in hand, be the bigger person. And I hate it sometimes because I'm like, damn, like, let me reach out to this it. person. Even if this person was wrong, wrong and I was the one at fault, I'd be the type to like, yo, let me reach out to this person. Let me try to clear the situation and see where we can where actually that talk from? and design. I don't know. Like, I'm really, that's just how I am. Like, I feel like I've always been that type to just figure out what the problem, but then again, it'd be a lot of people I really wouldn't care about, so I don't, but it'd be the people that, be the main ones that I'd be like, mm-hmm. damn, let me hit this person up, because we really was cool, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That makes me want to just reach out and like, hey, like, you know, let's talk, but I don't know where that comes from, like, mm-hmm. that's on some... Why like, you I, just really care? I guess. You know, you, I guess you really got caring. a heart. You really Especially got... in relationships, I've always been the bigger person, so like I've yeah, always had. Yeah, me too. I've like, always been the bigger person. I don't want to fight no more, but you still want to be a stickler. Like, come on. Let's yeah. make up. Yeah. See, I used you to talk? be a bigger person. I got to work on that now, because I used to be the bigger person. I it's got like, tired of being the bigger now. person. It's like, fuck you now. I, but yeah, when it comes to my respect, I'm not. Like, oh, if, yeah. if I feel disrespected, I'm not. Oh, yeah. That was I'm the situation. So I, I'm just... But the thing is, like yeah. I said, like but for me, when it comes to grudges, I sometimes take it as like a strong boundary for me. Mm. A strong boundary. Doesn't mean I'm hatred towards you, but trust me, I I don't forget stuff, especially Same. if like traumatic or it hurt me in some type of way. Mm-hmm. I'll take heed into it, but from a distance. Like you I can't rock with you. Boundaries. I'm I'm stuck on that. Like I can't rock with you. Understandable. Like you're cool. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and be angry, <clears throat> hold on to a resentment. That's like me drinking poison, and expecting you to die. No, mm-hmm. it, it makes no sense. Yep. You, you I wish you the best mm-hmm. over there, mm. away from me, because clearly you made a choice for yourself. Right now, now when people hold a grudge, you be like, you know, people reach out. It's cool. Some people come and reach out to me and apologize, and I'm, just because I accept it doesn't mean I'm opening you up to my world. Mm-hmm. Period. You will recognize what you did. I was expecting no apology in general. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So when they come out and reach out and they apologize and they talk, it's cool and all. But that's about it. That's cool. That's for your spirit. I'm good. 
Mm. <laughs> like, I don't feel the way. You know what you did. I don't got to sit here and tell you what That's you did. Fact. You knew you moved with. That's it. So what I got to sit here and go out my way, be the bigger person. I'm not the bigger person no more. I'm letting y'all know right now. Oh, I know you not. I'm not the bigger yeah. person because I, I see it as you made a choice for yourself based on, for, for you. You didn't consider. So when I yeah. make a choice, I hope you keep that same energy. That's all I'm saying. Let me tell you something. Trish going to stop talking to you and forget you even exist. Like, I Thank swear you. To God. You know swear me. To God. I will gonna, forget I about you. I will literally forget. forget. I will literally forget. She going to forget you. It's like, who? Who are you talking who? about? Man, Life crazy. too short. Who are you talking about? Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah. we all need to work on being the bigger person, you know? You know what I mean? Work in progress. Facts. As long you as know? she's aware. I'm There's very self-aware. This topic we spoke about. What? When we talked about the other day this week, oh, it was this week. Oh yeah. And you were saying you said something about like, like as far as like we always talk about sex, but it's like when it's you said something. Out. I'm trying to see if you can expound on that. Sex. Um. Hmm. <laughs> the topic was <laughs> the topic nah, was based off of sex. That, that's face. a beautiful. Part. The, the topic was based <laughs> off of sex. <laughs> Uh, was it was it in regards to you can talk um, about it? But you said no. We don't people talk about not that. not feeling the need, like feeling weird about talking about sex yes. when sex is something yes. that we should be talking about. Like yes. how's it weird? Like people are still weird. Touch people on people yeah, really on like have this thing where sex is so sensitive. So I get it. I get it. It's like a very um, intimate act, and like, right. but it's very healthy to have a, a open conversation. conversation about it. Like mm-hmm. you I'm know that. your delivery though. It, it, you know you have people that will go crazy and start doing like. Weird shit, yeah. saying some weird shit. But as far as just having like a healthy conversation about sex, we should. Mm-hmm. I should be able to express my sexuality freely without needing anyone to feel like, oh my god, like, 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 no, like this is something that we do. Like, yeah. Question: When, when, when people be like, oh, um, when you, when I tell people I'm bi, right? And when I talk to guys, when and you buy? first thing, I'm, I'm yeah, not gonna lie, I said it in my head. Oh, you buy yourself. I'm yeah. about, like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's, I keep it separate. If I fuck with somebody, I fuck with somebody. I can't fuck. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait. You talking she about. Me right. Me that was yeah, a bar, too. I know. It was a bar, you said, right? wait, when you're bi, like bisexual, no, by yourself. Yeah, not bi, by myself. Oh, okay. Where are you getting this from? I'm just trying to clarify the situation. My bad, go ahead. Sorry. Can't even express myself. You see what I'm talking about? I feel you, sis. <laughs> I don't even remember what the whole point of what I was saying, bro. Uh, damn. But no, actually, I do remember. And guys usually ask, like, how do you feel about threesomes? And how do you feel about doing other things with other women? Like, I'm like, why do you automatically assume that it's just going straight to threesomes? Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, mm-hmm. I, you know, you keep it separate. You know, I keep that, my life, that life private. Private, you know mm. what I'm saying? You, you see how the face y'all both was like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how private I keep it. I love it though. <laughs> so that's no one's business, but it's, it's gonna be on air. So yeah. Wait, so Jeez. you did or didn't do three songs? Have you done? Oh, I'm not sorry. doing three songs. Oh, okay. I'm just trying. To... I don't like I'm the idea of three songs. I don't I'm way too. I, I don't think care. you mm. know what it takes. A, it takes a certain mental strength for you to do that. Yeah. Are you okay with... It's cool when it's two girls and a guy. It's all cool. Mm-hmm. But y'all get tight when it's two guys, you and Question. another guy. Y'all want to go to the train. Question. Do you and want you look at it as a train. A train. Oh, and that's just crazy. Question. Would you rather have two girls and a guy or you want two guys on you? How would you like it? Honestly? I want to hear it. Real shit. <laughs> I'm okay with two guys. You want two guys? Uh, two hot guys who are all about pleasure. I, I would like to try both. We're all in it. Like, I like to try both. If I was to do that. Okay. If he was. Yeah. If I was to choose yeah. to do that? Yeah. Absolutely. So you'd rather the two guys as, as instead of two girls and a guy? I mean, that's the regular cliche of two girls. But I, if I had to choose, choose two guys. Interesting. What about yeah. you, Shannon? Choose two guys. <laughs> so in my deepest, darkest fantasy, right? Ooh. That may not. I, I don't think I got the guts for it. I see two guys in my deepest, darkest fantasies. Two girls, such, such. I feel like I, I passed the time for it to actually really happen. Because I just cannot <laughs> see myself sharing dick with no fucking women. I just can't see myself. Um, <laughs> Can y'all handle it? And, and, and then he started fucking her better than me. I'm going to have a problem. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have a problem. Hey, hey. Cut that shit out. Hey, hey, hey. Cut that shit out. I don't know what you're doing up there. Cut that shit Chill. out. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm cool on that. So, I'll just keep imagining. Yeah. 
That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. Like I was saying, it's like so a fantasy. Both, so fantasy. It's a fantasy. So fantasy. both of y'all rather have two guys as opposed to two I girls just feel like everybody's been doing two guys. That's girls. interesting. Yeah, like wow. two, two hot guys. You not even like the bouquet, okay, whatever. I'm not even what? Anyway. And you think I'm automatically like little that? Little does he know. <laughs> I'm not saying. He's like, you're not like this. Little does he know. What do you think know. about me? I don't. What are you talking about? You my about? guy, so I can't. Yeah, you're my guy. I'm coming, at, I'm coming at this one right Why are you here. coming at me for? She'd be. Because I'd be what? Because I mean? like, I'd be what, George? Chatting, man. Welcome to the G podcast. The what? <laughs> the G podcast. The G podcast. <laughs> like, What? Change the subject quick. Welcome to the G podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can't, yo. Mm. But um, that's interesting, though. Come because I never normally is like women be on some like, nah, I'm not gonna like two guys is running the train. But some people be like, oh. some people be like, nah. People some some women say that. Yeah, some people some mindset women say that. is so freaking weird. Why aren't you flipping? Y'all looking at the situation but half empty instead of half full. I think either one's a threesome. Everybody though. be looking at the situation so negative. Either one's, either a, one's a threesome. Okay? Either one's a threesome. Either way is a threesome. Either one, yeah. I think so. so. Now if it's like five. More than three five, is now more, it's, it's a, a four. No. More than three is like like four people is like a four song. And after that, it's like the orgy, I think. Yeah, the orgy, right? right? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the numbers, huh? Yeah. I don't know. After that, after four, it's like, it's like, yeah. It's like, oh my God, it's four? It's more? Okay. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of that. I, I don't think I can pull off. Yeah, I mean, me neither. I watched it, but it's, like, it's nothing I can like, pull off. Oh, man. It just it's everywhere. It's like everybody's it's everywhere. Oh, some life shit right now. Everywhere. Everything is filled. Some Everything is filled up. So <laughs> many <laughs> Some life shit right now, but um. Are oh, we doing life? Okay, what's going on with life? Life do be life in. Nah, I was, I was just, <laughs> nah, I was just saying that's just. I'm just commenting like that. Some that's that's crazy. Some life shit. Like I don't really be thinking about that now. I'm 30 now. I don't really, I think different. I don't care about the threesomes. And shit that's like what that. I'm saying. It's like I, mean, it happens, I feel like I went past that. It like happens, I'm, I'm gonna be 33 this year. I know I look great. I know. Jesus year. I'm ready to be. Jesus, it is Jesus year. Oh yeah, I love that. I love Sorry, that number. Okay. <laughs> That's dope, though. I said I was gonna say I'm ready to be like the the biggest freak to like one person for a lifetime. That's just the vibe I'm at right now. I know that's one right. One person. I know that's right, sis. One I know that's person. right. Be a like, whole for listen, one man. Uh, what? I, I know could, that's I could right. Show you something, like do you some know. Things. Let me tell you. Uh huh. <laughs> so you have, do you have tricks in the bag that you haven't used on anyone before, or um, I, I even stuff that I probably haven't even seen myself do. I, I got to find right. out. I have a bag. I would love to tricks. explore. I got a bag full of tricks. Good to Ooh. know. I got a harness. Wait, you have a bag of tricks that you uh, haven't harness. done no, yet? No, no. I've I've used I've used. Some of them, I I still haven't used the harness the I way I wanted it. to. But do you have any that you have yet to use? The butt plugs. Mm. I heard it's fire. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the butt plugs. I have one. I have a diamond one. It's just sitting there in my room. I just haven't used it. I just love the tricks and the tools and the the, the gadgets. I uh, love it. I love your life. I love I it for you. Thank you. I can't. Yeah, y'all got me weak. Anyway, this was some great conversation. So Amazing. Beautiful. From the astrology it. to the music and all that. The astrology was actually interesting. That was very good. You guys um, should definitely look into y'all um, birth chart, even on a daily. Like, 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 listen, the birth chart itself is great, but those transit charts, I'll put y'all on. Yeah, yeah. Y'all going to see everything change day to day. And it makes life more fun, honestly. Ooh. I love that shit. I love, I love to it. say the moon is in so-and-so. And okay, that's why motherfuckers lose any fucking minds. I'm chilling. <laughs> right, right. You know, so, though. yeah, that's it's retrograde. retrograde. It's retrograde. Yeah, it, it, explain it. that. Hit me. Don't before go back we, to the exes. Before we close this out, explain the retrograde. So what, it's not story. only with exes. Before we close out, it's not only with exes. It's like communication, like making sure that you are speaking in a way that you know you could like make sure somebody comprehends you, and mm -hmm. then the person is actually actively listening because it's so easy to get. Um, misunderstand like misunderstanding involved and have people like go crazy because inside they're dealing with something and then they start projecting onto you and mm -hmm. thinking that what you said is something towards it's it's a lot, it's a lot of that miscommunication shit mm -hmm. and then also like making sure you're um not rushing right. don't leave the house before you check your bags and stuff you don't want to leave anything because things just Anything with rushing. Don't mm -hmm. be rushing when you're driving. Definitely not when you're driving. Because that, that um, Mercury is all about like short travel. So that's cars, transport transportation, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, what else? If your ex come up, any old friends, just be very, um, I would say, discerning. 
don't just, even think about I don't, all I don't have any, I don't have any exes popping up. Yeah. Nah, they don't. I like you to don't say, have any I like to say I don't have any exes at all. I don't have any exes popping up, I'm just making sure, okay? I'm just making sure. I don't have no exes at all. Sorry, Trisha. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I, I don't got no, I don't got none of those issues. So yeah, I ain't, yeah, yeah, you know, no, I'm, I'm done with it all. Your facts. But if any of those stuff happen, just That's make sure. Fact. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too, George. Yeah, you don't very. Off that, as you should. Anywho, um, for the people know, like, drop your. Instant hand. Oh, I mean, my name is Shandy media, Love. My name is Shandy Love. Tap in with me. I'm about to start vlogging again for the fall. So um link my YouTube page. I am Shandy Love. Again, if you want you to red charge red, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. So tune in with me. I love that you're here. I love that you're so here. glad you're here. Thank you, Trish. Oh, it's just me, again. you know, co-host. <laughs> Add me on IG, Love Always Trisha, L U V. Always Trisha. You'll see me pop up. You'll see me pop up. <laughs> After a while, you don't have to even have to say anything. I know. It's gonna, I know. Straight. You're going to yeah. hear me. Y'all going to see it. I'm already on the Twitter. I'm on the IG. Y'all see me. I'm right now. <laughs> Worldwide. Worldwide. Facts. She be, be wild. But anyway, Real G Hawkins at Real G Hawkins on Instagram, Twitter. I'm trying to get my Twitter back up. I don't really be on Twitter. I mean, X, my bad. Um, Yeah. It's still going to be Twitter. Twitter me. Man, <laughs> I'm calling it Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I don't know. You're just saying X. <laughs> I am not calling it X. I'll be on Twitter a lot. I can help you with that. Yes, please Twitter. help him. Because this yeah, is what he needs to do I anyways. Gotta I gotta network. Go network. I got to Yeah, I got to clear a lot of stuff on X. But um, Shandy, I appreciate you. Thank you for jumping Thank on this episode. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so, I'm so happy I came. And you guys are awesome. Thank you. No problem. Yes, yes, yes. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yes. You know what it is, G Talk Podcast, episode 15. Your boy, G from NYC and co-host Trish. I'm out. Later. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>